hi guys welcome to the course so from this app to do zap we're gonna learn a library called redux so how can we implement the redux in our react app where which we're gonna learn in uh, from following videos so this is the to do zap as you can see this is the list of items or to do's that you can do whenever you enter something you can see this is the list will appear or add it to this list and you can also delete some items from it by clicking on this x font now one thing you can do also that whenever you click on some text you can see that it will be reflected back to this input and you can edit this part and also save it at the same place and one more thing you can do this is to delete all so that all the list will be deleted and I have added one more thing that's called uh, you can say this is a local storage like it has been stored locally into your browser so if you just like uh, reload this page also you will see this will be intact here so these are the following things that we're gonna make uh, using redux and you can use the simple state management that you do but uh, if you want to do some complex uh, uh, editing or uh, many other things so this is why uh, we prefer the redux library and how to implement this we're gonna see how can we do this in the following videos so let's uh, first of all we're gonna do some styling uh, take some fonts and use the background and also make this uh, input tag in this video so for doing all this i'm going to not use the at this time vs code i'm going to use this called code sandbox uh, in here you can see the live editor you can use in here as you can just use something it will be edited this part so we're gonna learn uh, we're gonna use this part uh, for coding now for uh, viewing purpose I'm going to uh, sort sort this uh, or we can use this uh, web, web link for seeing what we can do so in here you can see that we got the browser web browser list now I'm going to just uh, widen this um, yeah now in here I'm going to first uh, use the fonts that I'm going to use so I'm going to use the royal one so in here where I can get the royal one so in here I'm going to use this celestial part okay it will be different but uh, this is the background that I'm going to use so just click to copy in here so from here you can just uh, uh, take the background that you want to keep in your browser now back to your code in here in our style of CSS in the body tag I'm going to give the styling in here so if you just save it and you can see in here also that it will be changed yeah right now I'm going to also give the font color to be uh, some white but not full white uh, yeah now this is the font color as you can see in here now one thing to do is to select the font style that I'm going to use I'm going to use this Roboto now I have to embed this one this link into my code so back to your uh, index of the estimate just paste in here and just save it and also use this font family also roboto now just go to your code and go to your style.css and paste in here
now this is what it looks like now for offer now let's go to your app.js i'm going to create new components in here so first of all what we're going to create we're going to create an input field component for the input tag as you can see in the code which i haven't built it right now so i'm going to build in our source folder going to create a new component uh, folder called components now in components i'm going to create a new file called uh, that the same input field dot js Now in input field, I'm going to use import react from react. Also the using the class component and the name of the class I'm going to give input field and extends to react.component. Also going to use this render method for rendering the JSX code, as you know. So in here, I'm going to return it. Now also the export default for exporting this file so that in app.js, you can import it. As you can see in here, this basically works like uh, the vs code now in here for now yeah we're gonna create a form tag and in the form tag i'm going to use the input field input field will have the type text name to be to do and uh, the placeholder you can see enter your to do going to close it you can see here we got the enter to do also in our app.js i'm going to use the h1 tag for giving the app that we are building the name of the app that we are building and in here to do zap we got the to do zap and also going to styling I'm going to use CSS in JS, like inline styling. So in here, I'm going to give to be text decoration to be underline. Okay. Now I'm going to save it. In our input field, we have to change the styling a bit. So in our style.css in here, I'm going to give the styling in here. So basically the input tag will have the background the same as the in outside background. So you can give this border box so that it will have the same background as the body tag. Now for font color, I'm going to give the font color same as that we have given. So I'm going to give this one. And also I'm going to give the border top to be none. Okay. So in here I'm going to give maybe width of Squares of maybe 200 pixel. Yep. Now uh, in here, I'm going to just save it and on also style.css. I'm going to save it now and just go to this React app and just refresh it. You can see that we got this entire to do's. And also in our input field. I'm going to use this on change method. So first of all, we are gonna use, we haven't used the Redux, but we're gonna see the Redux in the next video. So in here, I'm going to use the simple state management of the React that gives. 
so in here I'm going to use on change and going to handle change I'm going to create a new our own method so we need this dot handle change because we are using the class component right so for the class component we have to use this keyword so in here handle change as it's uh, on change method so it uh, gives a event so in event you can type in here this dot set state and to do e dot target dot value that's it so yeah so we have made this uh, in here I'm going to also give some padding maybe good yeah so in here the padding you can give maybe 5 pixel 5 pixel and 0 okay 5 pixel is good yeah so uh, this is the styling and all the things are done in the next video we're gonna see how can we like whenever we type in here it will add to a list in here and this is all be done through the redux bar so the la uh, so the next video is very important so please watch that's all thanks